Let's get things rolling with uh, a trip to the voicemail of truth and reason. Hey guys, so I just want to talk about Joe Fasco for a little bit. I've been a Browns fan for over 50 years, but I'm thinking 39 year old or going to be 39 year old Joe Fasco is probably the best quarterback I've seen the Browns have. I mean, that's nuts. When he throws that ball, I feel comfortable for the most time. He's got receivers, and I'm going to say to those receivers, don't wait for that ball to come to you because it ain't going to always, but it's going to be within your vicinity. Go get it. He's giving you a chance. you got to take advantage of that chance. Go, Browns, go Joe Flacco. As always, appreciate all of the voicemails. You would expect as things get a little bit more developed between Flacco and his wide receivers, some of that chemistry will develop. Uh, certainly has looked good with David Njoku and Amari Cooper so far. Well, talking about Amari Cooper, Cooper and Joe Flacco definitely have that chemistry role. And take a look. Cooper's four games with Flacco at quarterback versus the rest of his 2023 season. So with Flacco, he's got 25 catches. That's almost 35% of his season total. He's got 485 yards. That's almost 40% of his season total. 19.4 yards per catch. That's more than three yards per catch higher. He's got three of his five TDs. Average passer rating is 103.6 with Flacco. That is 20 points higher uh, than his season average. Uh, Rich Eisen, NFL Network. Also the Rich Eisen Show on what he's seen from Joe Flacco. I don't know what to make of this story. That Joe Flacco is sitting at home for three months and the Browns decide to go get him off the couch and stick him in an offense for Deshaun Watson, then P.J. Walker and Dorian Thompson-Robinson, and those are three quarterbacks that can run and throw. That's not what Flacco does. So why bring him off the couch and think that you're going to be successful, or let alone use him? And not only do they use him, not only is he successful, this guy is unstoppable, and this passing game looks unlike anything we've seen the Cleveland Browns have in a very long time. If I know, Look, and I know we broke Josh Gordon's record today, so you have seen a passing day and a receiving day like the one that Cooper had today. But Joe Flacco could easily be the comeback player of the year if Geno Smith won it last year for coming back from lack of opportunities or from the bench. Flacco's coming off the couch and keeping the Browns not only winning, but playoff ready and playoff tested and playoff dangerous with the way that their defense plays. Can't argue with uh, what Rich Eisen is saying. Imagine if they could get the run game going just a little bit, how more effective uh, Joe Flacco would be because um, his play action has been really good.